Hey guys, welcome back to the hide. Just wanted to bring the 6.5 Grindle from Delta Team Tactical, the Davis and Defense upper back out on the bench today, kind of to do a part two. I wanted to bring it back out just because we had kind of some mixed results in the first video, as I'm sure you guys seen. The Federal Gold Medal Match Burger seemed to shoot relatively okay, while we did have some flyers and stuff out of the other rounds that, that we shot. But I wanted to try it again today. Today we're going to be using a Nikon Pro Staff 5 scope, so a little bit better optic, and we're going to be using a standard Magpul MOE stock to help kind of stabilize the rifle a little bit better than a, the MFT that we were using before. I want to try and take all the, you know, the other variables out as we can, but I um, also wanted to kind of give a background or a little bit more information on the company itself. After the video was released, one of the representatives from Delta Team Tactical actually contacted me. And I tell you, this is probably the first engagement that I've had with a business that has been really good off of a what I would call a not so productive review. And the initial review, you know, I really couldn't give the upper five stars for what it was just because of the way it shot. But his first response wasn't, you know, hey, why did you give us a crappy review? We're not going to give you nothing else. And, you know, take the video down, and it wasn't anything like that. His first response was, well, what could we do to make things better? You know, we talked a lot on how he wants to represent his customers and get them, you know, quality items for their hard work money. So I think, you know, as far as that goes, you know, they deserve another look. So I've got their upper back out on the bench today, and we're going to take a few more shots to see what happens. So we're going to shoot the same loads that we did the first time. We're going to be shooting the uh, the steel gray, the steel case wolf, that burger load again in the Federal, the Hornady Black, and the American Eagle. Three rounds, 110 yards. Just kind of see what we get. But I think for the normal shooter, an upper like this is totally within the realm of possibility. If you're going into it just wanting to experiment with the caliber, and you're not looking for Leisure T-Box style accuracy. This is an option, but we're going to see what we can do here, guys. Not too bad. All right, let's take a look at the one that I'm most interested in, this, this federal gold medal burger load. Again, this is a 130 grain open tip match. Really, really good round. Now granted, this stuff isn't cheap, guys. You're looking at almost 25 to 30 dollars a box depending on where you're picking this stuff up at so let's try three of these here Not too bad at all. All right, let's try three of this Hornady Black. This is kind of a go-to load for a lot of you all shooting Grendel. I know I've shot a ton of it myself, so. Running the 123 grain ELD match projectile. And I am running an AC, ASC mag out of this rifle as well, so. Could have did a little bit better with that load, but let's try this American Eagle, guys. I think um, 
like I mentioned before in the other video, I've had really good luck out of this American Eagle ammo, especially in the, the 6.5 Creedmoor. So. Since we've got the target already down there, let's go ahead and shoot. Go ahead and shoot three more of this burger, just to kind of give us a, a point of reference here, guys. More so for my curiosity, more than anything. But again, 110 yards. You guys are watching the target cam as I shoot, so. Failure to feed on that one again, guys. Let's uh, try it one more time here. Last round. Alright. Let me grab the camera here. And uh, we'll take a look at what we got, fellas. And stick the camera back in the holder here. I have to say, overall, I'm really fairly happy with this time. The, like I said, the scope went with just a TMS mount and stuck the Nikon Pro Staff 5. This is a 4.5 to 18. Great scope, guys. Great scope for the money. Same overall feel of stuff and on the rifle itself i mean nothing's changed with that i will say the having the the moe stock on there definitely helps shooting it from the bench that's for sure the one thing i did want to say as far as the the failure to feed that could be magazine induced those aren't the you know the end all be all for grendel mags i mean you really should be using some elanders but this is all had local or locally so that's what we went with but let's take a walk down guys let's look at the the target and kind of see what we got like i said i know you guys remember what we did with the original review on this upper and the shots were posting all over the place and quite honestly for that grindle round i just i really didn't believe it even before the uh, gentleman at Delta Team contacted me. I was planning on doing a second update anyway. But I tell you guys, any company that's willing to, you know, stand on their on their own fruition and come out and say, you know, what can we do to make items better for our customers if they had a product that wasn't performing, it says a lot about the company and the people working for it. So, yeah, there's stuff you may have to wait for, but it was kind of explain to me the business model that they use they don't stock the same items all the time so whatever you get is what they have in stock at that particular time so let's take a look here and this is that wolf guys and for wolf that's actually pretty good i mean that's more than acceptable accuracy if you're going out just to bust steel at two or three hundred yards that right there will get you every time and that load is on less than six bucks a box so i mean that's pretty good um and there's that burger load again so i mean it's you know a nice clean group nice um and we had some had some throwing over here this is that that uh, hornady black this rifle clearly does not like the hornady black and clearly does not like the 
American Eagle. But it tends to like the wolf and the burger. So, I mean, that's definitely something to consider when you're looking at one of these. Like I said, guys, I hope you take into consideration the second going over of this upper. I think that, you know, performance-wise, it's there. And again, take all this into context. You're not talking about, you know, a six or $700 upper here, guys. You can get these for around $200. And to get you out shooting, or if you're just a weekend warrior that wants to go plink and bust some steel, it'll I think it'll serve you without a doubt. So definitely give them guys at Delta Team a look. I think they've got a really good thing going. Be kind of patient with them as far as their shipping goes. They really do try to get stuff out as quick as possible after the, the conversation I had with them. So definitely give them a look. I think it'll help you guys out getting some quality products at some really great prices. And hopefully stay tuned. I hope to be getting you guys possibly some coupon codes. So I know that'll help you all a lot. But as always, fellas, if you've got questions on this, post them up below. I try to answer as many as I can. Like and subscribe as it really does help the channel and I appreciate it. And as always, fellas, shoot straight. Later.